Is There Life After Six Sigma, the internationally recognized system for enhancing efficiency, quality, and customer satisfaction? The short answer is yes, but like any other form of life, it requires adaptation. Companies that have instituted Six Sigma have learned that, as with any other new system, a point comes at which maximum gains have been realized and productivity enhancements have begun to level off. Do executives then sit back in their leather chairs and say to themselves, well, we had a good run with that Six Sigma while it lasted? Of course not. Complacency goes against the tenets of Six Sigma. Instead, executives can now reach new heights by allowing Six Sigma to change their company's processes. Designing for Six Sigma opens up unprecedented opportunities to improve efficiency and quality beyond your highest expectations. Six Sigma Defined Simply put, Six Sigma is a philosophy that focuses on reducing mistakes and waste. The idea is to do many of the things you're currently doing, but more efficiently and with fewer errors. This is not another rah-rah cheerleader program. Indeed, it gives workers measurable guidelines and concrete results. Sigma, a letter in the Greek alphabet, indicates the goal of performing defect-free work. The higher your sigma value, the fewer errors are involved in the process that creates it. One sigma means that you're making 700,000 defects per 1 million opportunities. Not very good. Defects per million opportunities, or DPMO, is a measure of your success. At two sigma, you're making only 300,000 mistakes per million opportunities. So, 3.8 sigma represents a 99% success rate. That's the good news. The bad news is that 99% still equates to, for example, botching one out of 100 surgical procedures. Or, if you applied that quality level to the number of pieces of mail handled by the U.S. Postal Service, some 20,000 pieces would get lost every hour. The goal is to reduce the DPMO and, if possible, to reach the level of achievement known as Six Sigma.